Welcome. In this video, we shall discuss about group activity teaching method. My name is Dr. Kibet from the Center for Open Distance and E-Learning, Machakos University. What is group activity teaching method? It is a participatory problem-based training methodology that focuses on participants and the important role of peer-to-peer -peer interaction. Peer-to-peer -peer trainers are the key building block in these programs. Children's learning ability is not the same, even though they may be the same, the same age. Some students may be good in one activity area and weak in another. In order to be able to cater for these individual variations, group the children according to the need, ability, that is to say, according to the ability, interest, physical strength, and gender. Prepare work for each group before the lesson. There should be no permanent groups because this may encourage labeling of children, e.g., for example, fools, slow, fast, etc and it may have negative effects on learning. They should thus be used sparingly. Children should therefore be grouped according to the task at hand, but can move to another group if they are bored with the activity at hand or if they are done with one activity. Ensure that all children improve their potential by neglecting neither of the groups. Bright children should not be held back but given opportunities which are commensurate to their ability in order to keep them busy. Ensure that instructions are clear or, or followed by children and go around the groups giving encouragement, suggestions or help if needed. In this section I want us to look at the categories of groups so these are one mixed ability groups this encourages a balance within groups by distributing evenly in a group gender who are above average average and those who are weak gender groups although this one is seen to be discriminatory they also have their place in the society because culturally there are some specific gender roles activities which are emphasized and the preschool teacher must take note to strengthen positive cultural aspects. If teaching in Isiola, for example, in Isiola, Kenya, for example, you'll be careful to separate boys from girls, particularly during outdoor activities. Interest groups. Interest, this, they provide opportunities to make choices and enhancement of independence. However, they should be used sparingly. In life, we cannot do as we please without taking notes of others. Uh, let's look at the advantages and the disadvantages of group activity teaching method. Advantages. All children learn at their own pace. Grouping encourages peer interactions, learning from each other, and it, and it reduces ecocentricism. Children learn how to share and experience warmth or a sense of belongingness. Grouping encourages participation by all children, hence helps to develop children's self-esteem and confidence. It encourages healthy competition and offers an opportunity to train children in leadership, responsibility, in brackets group leaders. And finally, the teacher is able to give the required individual attention peer group and child teacher interaction is also enhanced. Disadvantages. What are the disadvantages? One, group method is time consuming, especially in preparation for different groups. It requires plenty of materials and, and space. Sometimes it is difficult to divide time appropriately for every group and finally, the children may develop a negative attitude towards learning certain skills if the teacher does not organize and motivate them. That marks the end of this 
a video where we've been discussing about group activity teaching method. If you like my video, kindly subscribe in order for you to receive other videos whenever they're posted. You can also like or even share with your friends. Thank you.